welcome back. Uh, I am really, really excited today. Uh, we are going to be recreating uh, a desert themed ring pour that I did in Desert Sunbird. Uh, I am color testing some golden paints that I'm very excited about. This one is Golden's Burnt Orange, um, leaving a slight mound on a mound. Well, no, it does leave a mound on a mound. I just thinned a mound even more, too. I don't want to thin it out anymore. But this is Golden's Burnt Orange. This is Golden's Van Dyke Brown. And this is Golden's Deep Turquoise. Gorgeous color. I'm very excited about that one. And then I have DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Pearl. And also the DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 Karat Gold. And then I have a base coat here that is mostly pearl with a little bit of the 24 karat in there. So I'm going to put that down right now. And then we are going to get started. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I want to do a ring pour. <laughs> I love ring pours. I think they're beautiful. They make me very happy. And, you know, sometimes less is more. You don't always have to recreate the wheel. So I like this, that pearl with a little bit of the gold in there. And I'm also, you know, if it happens to make cells because it's underneath everything, that's great too. So let's just get down. I love this little spatula, by the way, I gotta tell you. <laughs> it does make life a lot easier and keeps my hands cleaner. All right, so this is a 16 by 20. For a 16 by 20 canvas, you need approximately 11 and a half ounces of paint. This is 250 milliliters or one cup which is about eight ounces. So if we fill up this cup, we should be per more than fine. So that's what we're gonna do. I got my base coat on, let's go ahead and get started. Um, move that over there, get that out of the way. Whoa, gosh. Okay, so if something like that happens, don't freak. Just take your, scrape it back into your cup. You can still use it, it's perfectly good. A little bit of pearl in there, but that's okay, you know? At least we haven't wasted a full cup of paint. So the key thing is to not freak out. <laughs> Ta-da! Perfectly good. Okay, that's why you keep your work area free of obstacles. Okay, where were we? Take a breath, center yourself. I think that that means that the Van Dyke Brown wants to be first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that in the bottom. That was my base coat, I'm not using that. This is the regular pearl. I'm gonna put some of that in. Then I'm going to put a tiny bit of gold in. Now I'm gonna put my burnt orange. Into the thicker layer of that. And I'm gonna go back to the pearl. And then I'm gonna put in my turquoise. And we're gonna go gold. Again, yeah, just a little bit of gold. And then more Van Dyke Brown. And I want to end it with some of the burnt orange on top, but I don't want to put too much in there. Okay. This one should be really pretty. I love this color palette. Okay, this is the one that I did in Desert Sunbird with my friend Heather Mater. So you should check out her videos, really cool. She has some really fun tutorials on paint mixing and anyway. All right, here we go. And the reason I'm doing this is because the last time I did this, I was using different paint. I was using Winsor & Newton and Liquitex Basics. So this time, this is all Goldens except for the pearl and the gold. And I wanna see how it holds its shape. I wanna see how the rings hold up. My pouring medium, I realize I forgot to tell you, is Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, a little bit of water, and then some Floetrol. Um, I have also added a squirt of GAC 800 to the paint. Oh, that's beautiful right in there. I'm just gonna let this sit for a second and do its thing. Um, I'm gonna put some of my 24 karat in here and thin it out just a tiny bit. So now I've thinned this out even more Notice I didn't do it in my big cup that still has a lot of paint left in it because I don't want that to be totally thin. I just need this much. So pour it into an empty cup and use that. 
So the reason we're going to put a ring around it as a flow extender is because I don't want to lose all that pretty turquoise and stuff that's there on the edge. I would rather lose this little bit that I'm putting on now. And also, if it rolls over that, even better, because it'll make some cells for us. I'm also going to put a ring of... I'm not going to send this one out, though. The burnt orange. Kind of in that thinner gold. That's pretty. Let's tilt this beautiful thing here. Um, should we torch it first? Yes. Let's torch it. Oh, the wind is popping bubbles for me. Thank you, darling. You just wanted to come play, huh? Okay. So you remember when I put the brown in, I didn't put the gold right next to it because I didn't want to get that dark green army color, but I put the turquoise next to it. So <laughs> now I have a deeper turquoisey army color. All right, let's tilt before this all decides to run away. I'm going to stretch this out first. There's not actually that much paint on here, so I don't have to tilt it all off. I can keep a lot of it on here. Come back this way. I'm going straight down because the weight of my paint is all there. Just nice and slow. Let the flow extender roll off. Keep your center. Now we're just going to go straight down. Watch, this is going to be really cool. Whee! I'm going to go down that way. Okay. Come back this way just a touch. Okay, this is about to get really, really cool. Look at that turquoise in there. Let's stretch that all out. That's cool. Yay! I like it. Okay, I don't want to lose all of that edge. Come back just a touch. And there we go. Okay, so now a couple of little notes, real fast. When you're doing something with sort of a central theme you don't want the center of your design to be it either has to be bullseye dead center or you want it slightly off center because it's a lot more pleasing to your eye if this i don't want to point because my hands are covered in paint if that center of my ring pour was dead center the painting would not be nearly as interesting Plus, if we had left it there, we wouldn't have stretched this out and gotten all this really cool lacing with that turquoise. Really, really beautiful. Do you see this color over here? This burnt orange with that pearl and the gold is just, and this right here. I love that, that turquoise and it's got the bands of the Van Dyke brown in there and the gold. Amazing. This is amazing right here. Love that. Love this line. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And this one going this way. And again, here's that burnt orange with the gradation with the gold and the pearl and the brown. And then up here is the turquoise and the gold. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love gold and paint. I'm going to put a tiny bit of turquoise on the edge of this over here because it didn't get covered. That's awesome. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Check our other corners. That one's good. That one's good. Got some pink over there. Let's get this. I threw that stick away. Yeah. Okay. 
good. Should we torch it again? Did we torch it? I think we did. I don't want that hole to run off. Get in the way of it. Okay. Let's torch it again real fast. Awesome. Okay. So this one is done. I love that. Like I said, you know, sometimes less is more. You don't always have to reinvent the wheel. I love ring pours, and I think this one's really cool. So let's look at what's happening in here a little bit. In the center, I see the burnt orange. There's this, like, silvery color. It must be the Van Dyke brown with a little bit of the turquoise that mixed in there because I didn't have anything that was silver. Hmm. Interesting. My gold you see in there a little bit. So this is so pretty in this area and I love this color and I love there's some little tiny gold cells with turquoise rings around them popping up inside this band of burnt orange but that gradation that uh, what's the word ombre <laughs> sort of feeling right here in this corner is so pretty and over here on this edge you actually have that same ombre feeling but you have these beautiful orange burnt orange lines and I love that edge right there with that pale orange and gold this is gorgeous I love ring pour. I just you know you can't beat them <laughs> anyway okay so this is a couple of days later and this is perfectly dry now I am so happy with how this turned out this looks beautiful, this gorgeous lacing of turquoise on top of that pearl, and you can see the burnt orange. Excuse me, hummingbird, could you keep it down a bit, please? Anyway, that burnt orange in there is just so pretty. And so, I think what I've learned, hello Zen, from this Golden's experiment is they're drawing a lot more transparent than the Liquitex Basics, but it's a beautiful effect. I mean, you see all those different colors in there. You see the brown, you see the pearl, you see the burnt orange and that turquoise. Sorry if this is moving, the cat is head bumping me. <laughs> Hi kitty kitty. Anyways, so this turned out really, really cool and I really like that. I like the separation of the rings stayed beautiful. I like that the colors are true and that you can identify each of them. This corner is so pretty down here with that burnt orange and the gold. And those tiny little cells, I don't know if you can see, they've got like a turquoise ring around them. Really cool. Focus! Now the cat is bumping the easel. <laughs> I guess Zen didn't get his screen time today. <laughs> it's okay. Anyways, so this one turned out, there he is. This one turned out really, really cool. I'm very pleased with how this is. And, uh, you know, it was a great experiment. Very cool. Zen! <laughs> He's literally bumping the... Hello, kitty. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you for the next one. I love how this one turned out. This is the Desert Ring Pour Color Test from Goldens. Have a great day. Hey, listen. Thank you for all uh, subscribing. I really do appreciate it. We hit our 10,000 subscriber mark. Yay! I couldn't have done it without you guys. I have, like, the nicest people... I swear to God, you guys are just awesome. Your comments are so sweet, you blow me away. And I love that you guys are giving me ideas on what you want to see videos for. That's so cool. So keep it up. And, you know, like, subscribe if you haven't. I do appreciate it. If you can, share a video or two. That helps a lot. I would appreciate that as well. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.